Hey guys, I bought a, a Seagate Backup Plus Hub, 4 terabytes, in order to back up my ButterFS RAID 1 setup right here. So as you can see, this is my old ButterFS setup. I plugged it into here hoping that the power that um, this hub gives is slightly better than what this gives. I found it to be unstable with these ports. So I, I, I'm guessing because the hub is less, uh, these things supply unreliable power. But anyway, it is working. Um, and this is the four terabyte drive. Now, I have some comments uh, in my in my YouTube uh, thing saying that I'm a bit of a butter of a, uh, a hater and it's unwarranted. But I dare say this is extremely warranted. I urge you all not to use ButterFS. I honestly suspended my my belief system. You, you know, I did have a look at the source code and it is like orders of magnitude bigger than AXT4. And I knew there was going to be trouble down the, down the road, especially, I mean, doing what I'm doing with the external USB is kind of dumb. But I've had so many issues on, and I, I even did the dumb thing of putting um, ButterFS on my on my on my Nooks root, so I've had I've had issues on this on this root file system, and I've had issues on this external USB uh, file system, um, and now I'm I formatted that new Seagate as ext4, and I'm as I'm speaking here, I'm asyncing my data across, and I've got this really warm fuzzy feeling that I've dodged a bullet. Let me go into some details about the problems I had. So that um, you can think I'm an idiot, or or, or my opinion is uh, is warranted. Okay, so this is the backup regime. So um, about I'm not too sure why my my sense doesn't work for kernel messages, but um, if I could show you the the typical errors, is that I rebooted after a kernel upgrade and I had these open C tree uh, failures. With a uh, with ButterFS, and it um, and I basically couldn't mount my 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 RAID my RAID one configuration. I've actually got it running here. Right. Um, so I couldn't mount it, but I did find find that if I roll back my kernel to something ancient, maybe it's because I haven't upgraded for such a long time, like to 4.43, I could mount it. I just took this this kernel arbitrarily from the from the archive. I didn't really think too much in it. But I, so so I can um, mount this um, this RAID 1 thing so that I can copy my data off. Um, yeah, as I mentioned, the recent kernels won't let me mount it at all. Some sort of alignment issue. And, uh, but the interesting thing, when I'm rolled back to 4.4, .4, I am unable to, uh, I'm unable to write to my, my root file system. Look at this, foobar. I can't, I can't. Can, so, can someone explain to me why I can't write to my file system? It's just one of, one of ButterFS's um, mysteries, right? Uh, this is the XT4 file system that I'm backing up to. And uh, yeah, this is the one I'm depreciating. So glad to see this R-Sync running. I'm so glad. So yeah, ButterFS is um, a strange beast indeed. I, I'll link to my ButterFS um, messages on, on the ButterFS mailing list. I in in the Mr. Wen Ruo's uh, credit, um, he did try to help me out. Um, you know, I'm not actually sure what what the problem is. I, I I'm guessing it it was due to this alignment issue, but just things just never got right. Right, even even trying my best to resolve it myself. So in hindsight, I am definitely moving. Uh, more and more of my data to AWS. I think I'm. Uh, I think Glacier's got slightly better in the, with the listings and stuff. So, I'm. 
like my video content I'm uploading to to uh, to Glacier uh, S3 bucket and then I'm expiring after like a few days and um, yeah that's that I think I'm going to the cloud now I mean I do have four terabytes and another uh, two times two terabytes here but uh, ultimately I'm, I'm moving towards the cloud I'm not going to run a personal RAID 1 or a NAS or something at home. I'm just tired of the, the headaches that involves. I mean, I've been burnt in previous jobs by hardware RAID 1, so I was hoping the software RAID 1 at Butterfest would be better. It turns out it's not the case. So I am moving to the cloud, guys. I'm moving to the cloud. And these other disks will just be just some sort of pseudo backups that I can maybe archive some stuff and bury in a time capsule okay guys I hope you found that interesting and um, yeah goodbye butterfs I'm not gonna miss you at all bye